John found a pair of sunglasses in a box left on the street. When he put it on, the whole world changed. There was a large obey signboard, but when he took it out, it returned to be a normal one. John thought he had been mistaken so he tried again, but it was still like that. Put the glasses on and look around. The streets were full of hypnotic signs like that. When he opened a random magazine, they're still the same messages. What happened to this world? When he was still confused, John suddenly saw a skull face man. But when taking it off, this guy returned to normal one. However, the man next by didn't seem any strange. The skull face man had a luxurious car. He was obviously a rich one. Perhaps only the rich were affected. The next scene bore witness to his thought. A skull face woman was buying a lot of things. With her two human servants. In the luxurious shopping center, there were even more skull face people. They also appeared on the TV. These creatures seemed to have reached every nook and cranny of the city. At this time, a woman accidentally hit John, who was a skull face. This made John extremely annoyed. He shouted at this woman and said she was so ugly. Then he explained to other customers that she was an ugly skull face woman. After learning that she had been discovered, the skull face woman used her bracelet to tell her accomplices. Other skull face people also raised their hands and talked to the bracelet on their wrist, which made John so scared that he immediately ran out. Unexpectedly, right when he left the store, he was chased to a dead end. And these two guys were also Skullface. They wanted to bring John to their place. John didn't to die like that. So he stole their gun and shot them to death. After that, he took the rifle in the police car. In the chaos, he ran into a bank. There were also lots of Skullface. He pointed at them and opened fire. One of them was telling the news to his accomplices. When he discovered that John was aiming at him, he immediately disappeared without a trace. It was clearly that they weren't human. After walking out, John found a flying object which was filming him. John raised the gun and shot it to pieces. A human police officer ran in front of him. When John knew he wasn't Skullface, he let the policeman leave. Meanwhile there were many policemen chasing after him. In order to escape, John kidnapped a woman Holly as a hostage. After entering her house, he asked Holly about her job. She said she was working as an editor for the television station. John wanted to tell her the truth. But before he could, Holly hit his head with a vase from the back and pushed him downstairs. Fortunately, John was a strong man so he wasn't any injured. But the glasses were left at Holly's flat. Therefore, John had to return to the trash to find another glasses. At this time, he was being wanted by the whole city. What should he do next? John used to have a well-paid job, but he was then fired and worked at a construction site and befriended with a man named Frank. After John's being wanted, Frank gave his money to him. John wanted Frank to wear the sunglasses in order to understand the current situation. However, Frank didn't want to contact with John anymore. He also didn't believe in John's claim that there were aliens around them. As a result, the two hit each other. John won and forced Frank to put it on. Frank did see the existence of the skull face. He no longer dared to return to work. So they went to a small hostel to hide. Frank asked John, how long have they been to the earth? Of course, John didn't know the answer because he had just discovered their existence. Frank thought that the one who had created the glass would know the answer. When Frank returned to the hostel, a strange guy saw him wearing the glasses. After entering the room, Gilbert took out a piece of paper and gave it to them, on which there were time and venue of the secret meeting taking place this night. Gilbert also warned them to avoid being followed. In due time, they arrived at the meeting. There were all normal people. Wearing the glasses for too long might cause dizziness. So a woman gave them the contacts. Then they were given weapons. And another man gave each of them a bracelet, which were collected on the skull face corpses. When they were in danger, they could use it to move to another place. It was a very useful thing. In the broadcast, an expert spoke his mind. The skull face were the robbers in the universe. After entering the earth, they occupied the resources, recruited the rich and powerful to control humanity, and in the end, they would destroy the earth. Gilbert was very glad when he found the two men in the meeting. He knew many secret information of the aliens. At this time, the aliens had taken over many important institutions. Many people had sold human off in order that they could be promoted. The number of people who wanted to save the world like them was decreasing day by day. They were in an awkward situation. Every of the people in the meeting was angry. Gilbert told them to keep calm. Their chance to fight the aliens had yet to come. He suggested that after receiving the weapon, they should return home and go to work as usual. One of them asked, when is our chance? They are using some kinds of signals to enslave many people and keep them in a dreamlike state. Now you still don't know where the source of those signals are? Suddenly there was a voice, I know. John took a look at that person. That turned out to be Holly the woman who had been kidnapped by John. She had used his glasses and discovered the truth. John stepped towards Holly to greet her. Holly apologized to him for what she had done. John then said, no problem, it just hurt a bit. Right at this time, a large number of armed soldiers rushed in. They continuously shot at the people. The scene became a mess. Many people fell down and died. John and Frank were chased to a dead end. The soldiers discovered them and intended to attack them. At the critical moment, Frank turned on the bracelet. 
On the ground appeared a hole. It only lasted 10 seconds. Frank was the first to jump down. After fighting back the soldiers, John also jumped. It was an underground tunnel. The two went along it and reached a meeting, where they were celebrating the elimination of the terrorists. Then the host announced that their salary would increase by 50%. They turned out to be the collaborators of the aliens. At this time, a drunk rich guy approached them, who thought that they were newbies. So he enthusiastically gave them a tour of the facility. It was the station where they were transmitted to the Earth. Their scientific level was really far beyond that of humans. John couldn't believe what was happening in front of him. This man then led them to the basement of Cable 54, where they installed the source of the signal. John wanted to get inside, but this place was protected by armed guards. As a result, he took out his gun. The two rushed in and killed many aliens. One their way, John ran across Holly. It turned out that she was working here. John told Frank to take care of Holly, and he would go to the terrace to destroy the transmitter. Unexpectedly, right when John left, Holly killed Frank. She turned out to be a collaborator. After reaching the terrace, John intended to destroy the source. Holly chased after him and pointed the gun at him. John pretended to give himself up, but he actually took out the gun which had been hidden under his arm and shot Holly. The helicopter of the soldiers also arrived there, but John didn't care about it and raised the gun and directly destroyed the transmitter. And after that, he was shot and fell down in the pool of blood. After the transmitter had been destroyed, all the signals were interrupted, which made the aliens reveal their true form. They stood out in the crowd. The ending of this movie is an open one. It wasn't difficult for us to guess what would happen after that. Someone says that movie condemns the economic control on the Jewish in the US. This movie is also said to have exposed a mysterious organization called Skull and Bones, whose headquarter is located in an abandoned building in Yale University. They only recruit 15 people each year. The rules of joining are also very strict. Only white people having special backgrounds are chosen, and they have to take many examinations at the same time. After joining the guild, they must obey the rules and strictly follow the leader. Established for nearly 200 years, its members have all become famous and powerful people leading many classes and fields. Some of them used to be presidents and famous judges. Many Americans think that Skull and Bones has taken charge of the whole US. They don't let other people know their real purposes. If you want to know more interesting movies like this one, let's like and subscribe us. In a nutshell, this is a wonderful science fiction thriller film. If you like it, please leave your comments below.